The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. Today, I want to find a random sample on YouTube and make a beat out of it. Now, YouTube is the most amazing sample library in the world because you could type in any instrument you could think of with the word solo at the end and find pages and pages of videos of people playing that instrument, which is just loads of audio for you to sample. One of my favorite little instruments is the kalimba. So I searched kalimba solo, picked the very first video. I'm just going to copy and paste the link into this app, 4K video downloader. This is a free app. You can get rid of these uh, other audio tracks. We're not going to use them. First thing we're going to do is leave this unwarped and go find our sample. I want to, I know it was after the fast playing in the beginning. Cool. So there's my first note right there. All right. So this is the first note of the next part. So we'll just cut it here. We'll actually leave a little bit of it in there because we're going to do our kind of final adjustment later when we find our loop. And then now let's turn on our metronome before we warp it and just see if we can get it close. This is a fast sample. Oh, 188 or so. One eighty eight is pretty close to the tempo. So now that we have it within the ballpark, so now that we've got our timing close, we're just going to hit command J and that way it'll automatically warp it to whatever tempo we have. I'm going to switch this to complex pro and click down here and hit command a and then hit command U and let's see eighth notes. Perfect. I wanted to quantize this and because there's a pretty obvious note hit where the notes belong. It's going to get it right for most of them. As you can see, I missed one. Oop, missed another one over here. You can just double click these little yellow flags to get rid of them if you have an extra one that doesn't need to be in there. Oh, yeah, sometimes it gets it all wrong. So, yeah, so it looks like we're going to have to slip all these over. kind of drifted off in speed at the end, which is why the warps got so bad, but boom. And then that's our downbeat. And this is the end of our loop right here. So we just warped this kalimba performance. and made a perfect loop out of it. There's uh, a couple of notes that are sticking out a bit, so we can just throw a compressor on this. It kind of brings out the background noise, which I actually like. I may also want to EQ this sample to figure out what area is ringing so bad, probably around there. So that area sounds really bad, but when you pull it out, gets kind of clean. You can pull some of the bass out. Let's do a high pass too. Let's slow this down just a little bit. I think 180 might be a little bit fast. Let's try 175. 174. So I'm going to go ahead and make a trap drum kit. I'm going to pull up a impulse on the MIDI track above it. And we're just going to pull some drum shots out of the Urban Beats collection. I like kick number three. Ooh, let's also turn our volume down a little bit on the uh, master. I'm looking for like a, a little, that's a little tiny snare. Let's go get a clap now. That's a nice clap. Let's go put a hi-hat in here too. I like number 21, I'm looking for...
I can hit the pan randomizer on this hi-hat too so it does a little uh, left-right action, but just a little bit, not too much that it gets distracting. Let's throw an open hi-hat in here. I like this one. For my open hi-hat, I'm going to change it to gate so that I can choose where it holds down for. I do the random panning a little bit extreme on the open hi-hat. Let's, uh, let's grab a percussion. I like this percussion. Maybe let's put this percussion in here too. Let's go ahead and record our drums. I like to set up a keyboard shortcut, the letter R. Do a nice one bar count in. All right, so I kind of drifted off from the tempo a little bit. The metronome wasn't on when I recorded it, but we should be able to quantize this to eighth notes. Just fix these up real quick while we drag our loop out. Let's just drag this over and we're good, buddy. Hey, 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 hey. All right, so let's duplicate this and let's lay in some kicks. quantize it to the nearest eighth note. Actually, I like the short kick, so I'm gonna have it just quantize the note starts. Hey, hey. Hey. So now that we got our drums popping, we add a little bit more compression. Are you one of the millions of music producers who don't know how to play real musical instruments? Did you quit guitar lessons back in middle school because it made your fingers hurt? Here at Whole Loops, we've got the solution for you. Introducing the Guitar Bundle, an organic collection of electric and acoustic progressions ready to drop into your next smash hit. The Guitar Bundle is available now only at wholeloops.com. So now that we've got all our drums in place, the next thing I want to do is add some plugins to the sample to make it sound a little bit cooler. My ultimate go-to for that is Halftime by Cable Guys. And now this might be a little bit too different. Let's try eighth notes. That's cool. I like them both at the same time. But instead of doing the wet dry knob, you know me. We're gonna run half time in parallel. That way you kinda get independent volume control of them each. Let's call this dry. track to first open up a uh, grand piano to figure out what key we are in. C. Perfect. So now that we know we're in C, we can just go to Urban Beats 3, Disrespectful 808s. Uh, I love that first one. Let's just go with the first one. Cool. So let's turn our volume up a little bit on here. Let's do one voice on our 808, turn snapping off. We can turn our filter off, turn our attack up. Since we already got a kick there, we don't really need the kickiness of this 808. And let's turn the decay up and pull the sustain down so we get a little bit more of the beginning of it and not so much of the tail of it. And we're just gonna turn that bad boy up, maybe turn the channel down. 
Let's record some, uh, let's record some 808s. how the 808s and the kicks are doing the opposite instead of doing the same. Sometimes that makes it bounce and sometimes that makes it awful, but kind of just got experience. EQ after our whole chain now. We're gonna have a lot of new unwanted bass in here since we added halftime. And now, if you watched my uh, last tutorial titled "How to Make Anything Sound Like a Sample," you'll remember this bad boy RC20. This is going to be the real final uh, shimmer on the on the sample. Let's add a little bit of a stereo wobble to it. Because if I guess correctly, this is a mono recording of the kalimba. Even though it shows up as two channels, it looks like it's the same on both sides, which is the case for a lot of samples. So you're going to want to use a plugin like this to help make it just a little bit more interesting and different on both sides. It's kind of vibey now. And to arrange this, I like to maybe just leave a little bit of the. Uh, sample right here in the beginning. Yep. And then we're just going to jump right into it. have it instead of being drums only let's have it be kalimba only actually just do a loop like this that way it just turns around right there anyways we can do a nice uh, high pass filter Oop, let's turn this channel back on saturation on it. two more percussions to lay in. I'm 
Actually, I'm just going to take the first measure of this. I think I got it right in the beginning. And let's just quantize these bits. <laughs> I want to take these hi-hats and maybe just slip them late a little bit. So now we have that in place. Let's give this a little duplicate so we got a space for our uh, kind of reintro thing. I'll put a link to the video that I sampled this kalimba out of in the description if you'd like to follow along with the same sample. I hope you learned something. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time with another tutorial. Peace out.